thing about working out every day is that your hair is never clean. Like it's never truly clean for longer than 24 hours. I washed and blow dried my hair yesterday. And now I'm putting it in plaits. I'm going to sweat on it. It's still a sweaty mess, but we have some packages. Suitcase! This is one of those adulting things. It's like, why am I so excited about a suitcase? But I'm always going somewhere and I have a really exciting trip coming up, which obviously I'm gonna vlog. So I want a new suitcase. I also realized I have a bunch of other kind of packages and things I bought the other day that we can go through. But for now, I just need my beauty pie box so that I can get in the shower and wash and cream my face. So my holy grail, Plantastic Apricot Butter Cleansing Balm. I've used this a hundred times in my video and you should know by now. I love it. I love using it with my gua sha. But these two are new. I've been having quite the breakout. So I'm going to try this Dr. Glycolic Deep Purifying Foamy Clay Cleanser. This was from their like acne prone, blemish prone section. And then this, I didn't realize, but this is like a completely new product for them. So this is the Happy Face Skin Clearing Gel Cream, 10% azelaic acid azelaic acid i don't know um but yeah i bought it and then went on the instagram and they were like brand new just in so yeah clearing i'm getting good vibes about skin clearing let's let's go give it a go i have somehow ended up late for my nail appointment i'm ready i'm dressed it's also raining i haven't eaten so i've grabbed this orange juice from earlier in the week it's just there's a whole there's, there's a lot of things going on i don't know how this happened I accidentally took us to the wrong branch of the restaurant. So now we're walking to Covent Garden. But we're still on time. dress that I have, the best dress I have found to wear to Jana's wedding as maid of honor. But I've never seen the dress in real life. So I wanna see if Selfridges have the brand in here so that I can actually touch the dress. Touch the 750 pound dress. <laughs> Saloni. Yeah. They sell it on the website. It might be like one of these kind of. Selfridges Food Hall is not the best in the world. It's too small, but it has some absolute gems. Those are the loose beans, but I want their pods. One of my favorite matches. Exhausted. 
exhausted. My mum ran 24 kilometers this morning. I'm on 18,000 steps. I think she just finished today on something like 33,000 steps or 34,000 steps, which is absolutely insane. But my ankles are pretty knackered, but we didn't do parcels this morning and two more came while we were out. So let's do, ah, okay. Parcel number one is this cookbook called Mezcla. This is the cookbook of the month for my podcast, my food podcast, Sonder and Salt. If you're new here or just didn't know, I have a podcast, I have a food podcast, new episodes come out every Monday. And we now have a Patreon page where we are doing a cookbook club. We have like behind the scenes stuff. We have like bonus scenes, deleted scenes, recipes. We have, it's basically like our main community hub. So if you are listening to the podcast and don't know, I know some people are quite like far behind and not everyone listens to every episode every week. So you might not have heard about it yet. It's something new that we did this year, but Mezcla is the book of the month. Next box. Next box. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's like vacuum packs. Next package is basically a seat cushion and like lumbar back thing for my office chair. My office chair is pretty good. Like it's got a nice high back. I got it from Argos. It is in a video a while ago when I did my home office setup, probably like three setups ago. I should probably do an update of the things I've changed at home. But the sponginess of it's kind of gone. Like I have worked from home on that chair for three, nearly four years. Oh my God, nearly four years. Nearly four years. So the sponginess of it's kind of gone, but I didn't want to pay for a whole new chair. So this was like 20 quid. Next in that same little delivery is a battery charger and new batteries for the camera that you are currently watching me from. Because I told you I'm taking this, this stuff seriously. I'm being intentional about my content creation. And I have a new ish vlogging camera. Again, probably haven't updated you guys, but hopefully you can see a difference in the quality. And this is the Sony ZV-E10. I previously was rocking the Sony ZV-1, which is what we now use from the podcast. So I got myself one of these. And the battery life is good, but I'm also trying to film all my videos in 4K where possible. So it uses quite a lot of battery power. So more batteries, more batteries equals more vlogs. Amazing, this haul is going very well. Next, big boy. I know what this is. It's like Christmas. I get it, I get why. Influencers do this, I get it. Newer, more content creation stuff. I'm not actually gonna open this because it's just a light stand. It's literally just a light stand. But I will open what it's for. So this is a light panel, which even for videos like, like this kind of set up right here could be lit better. Like there's light off my forehead. Like I'm really just trying to up the quality of the experience. For everyone involved, <laughs> me included. There's nothing worse than when I'm editing stuff and I'm just like, was today your first day making a video on planet Earth? Why did you film it like that? Why do you look like that? So yeah, invested in this light, which Jana recommended. I don't know if anyone here watches Jana's content. I'm in some of Jana's content and she's tagged me. So if you're here from Jana's videos, hi. <laughs> okay, she's perfect, but she has a lot of parts. So I won't bore you with this. Let's get on to some more exciting things. More little lights. Boring, you get it. I'm trying to be serious about content. Okay, shopping in a real life. I wanted a new mascara. Ugh, this, I'll be honest. I didn't know there was a Sephora in the Westfield that is in East London, the one in Stratford. I didn't know that. And my mum sent me a picture of it the other day and was like, did you know this was here? And I was like, I didn't. So I went there one evening specifically for these two products. Now these are the minis and it's the Love The Lift mini mascara and the Size Up mini mascara. I bought minis just because I wanna be sure that I love it because I'm looking for a new mascara. And Aisha Haroon, incredible YouTuber. I love her vlogs. If you like my content, you'll love hers. She is a Sephora ambassador, but she is absolutely fantastic when it comes to like makeup recommendations for brown skin, but I mean also just for eyelashes. She posted a video using these two as like a combination and her eyelashes were flawless. So I need to actually just get around to using that. I wanted a new beauty blender, but I actually wanted like a beauty blender and they're 20 something pounds. It's bloody when, I wasn't paying that. So I bought a Coco Cosmetics by Chloe. 
never heard of this brand ever but latex free very soft obviously i haven't wet it or anything yet but we'll see and i also bought some patchology flawless patch illuminating eye gels this is five pairs i absolutely love these things like not this particular brand i've never had this brand before but i was obviously i was just feeling frivolous this day garnier moisture bomb mask love these same reason as my little dry flaky eyes and i bought this top in cos this i remember and you know what else i remember I'm not bloody trying it on i'll try this on <laughs> i'll try this on tonight because do i have time to return this I have four days left if I want to return it. Right, okay, I've got to try that on tonight. So that is the end of my little haul and probably the end of this video. Thank you for hanging out with me and my mum today. If you want more me, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, listen to my podcast, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, wherever you want to be. And I will meet you in the comments to discuss, you know, do you want to see flat updates? Do you want to see me installing a cushion chair and unboxing lights and putting them up? Are you interested in that kind of thing? Let me know. If not, I'll see you in the next video.